welcome to uh, this uh, brief uh, press conference um, and I want to, to, to make a disclaimer here that the, the views that I'm going to make here are purely my personal views and uh, uh, so uh, I welcome all of you and uh, viewers out there um, and the matter I want to talk about this afternoon is uh, around the uh, energy sector and um, we are entitling our uh, press as the professionalism failures and uh, sheer incompetent burdens uh, should be fired within 48 hours. Uh, the confession by the board chairperson of Zesco, Mr. Vixon Ngobe, um, that he, he and his team, he who advised the Republican president, is a case of great concern to all rightful thinking Zambians. The, uh, the board chairman had the audacity to say human factor had led to the energy crisis we face as a country, apart from natural causes during his Hot FM uh, uh, interview uh, yesterday. Suffice to say, this um, action amounts to a political stunt aimed to first save his boss who a few weeks ago had claimed that he and his incompetent government have managed to end load shedding within a month of their driving government affairs. We have witnessed and are yet to witness a total failure on the part of the top brass recently appointed by the president at Zesco. To save this country from total collapse, the best thing to do is to page the board and top management at the energy company. Therefore, the president is challenged to fire the ban within 48 hours. Any delay to fire these incompetent officers will plunge this country into untold economic malaise never seen before. Ladies and gentlemen, this load shedding has already started impacting on, economic, on the economy very negatively. Millers have indicated a decline of about 20% in production, and with this, it means that minimum prices and many other products will have to increase because of so many overhead costs. Other than that, some employees may have to be thrown on the streets in order to balance the revenue and expenditure in terms of operating uh, these various companies. Small-scale entrepreneurs such as the saloons, barbershops, welders, business centers, and all those that rely on electricity are already having it very, very, very hard to continue with their businesses. What more damages should we witness before corrective actions are done? Unplanned road shedding has caused the death of many people who some of them were on life support and depended entirely on electricity. For us, we believe that one life lost is one too many. We need to move from a point of massaging failure with political rhetoric. Just a few weeks ago, the president is on record having admitted failure in the distribution of farming inputs and health in the, and the health sector, which has broken down irretrievably with regard to timely supply of medicine in hospitals. And we have seen that uh, in the midst of all of these statements have been made. Some of them are statements justifying the fact that electricity exports are part of our economic uh, activity. Yes, we do agree, but we can only export when we have surplus. You don't give away what you don't have. You give away what you don't need 
to use. In this case, we thought that the government should have considered local um, uh, citizens to get this electricity in order for the local market and the economy to thrive. Before then, there was no cause and justification to continue empowering foreign economies and foreign countries while our economy is shrinking, all because we want to get more resources. Ladies and gentlemen, seriousness requires the president to promptly relieve all ministers involved. We reiterate that we need a law that will recall an incompetent president and a failing president. Because as it stands, the failure by this incumbent president requires that he, President Akende Chilema, resigns on moral grounds. I thank you all.